I'm in Bos del Apache Wildlife Refuge, New Mexico, filming something for Nat Geo Wild's digital series Untamed. Naturally, I arrived in a convertible red Mustang. Beautiful landscapes and sunrises are things that I'm already into, but sort of out of my element when it comes to photographing birds and wildlife. Mind you, that's a perfect excuse for trying this tasty Canon 600mm F4L out. Photography is all about experiencing new things, and what a treat I was in for. There's a couple bowing at each other. They must be Japanese. Is that what it is? Yeah. Now, I picked Canon's 600mm lens for a number of reasons. One of them is weight. This second version is a little under 4kg. That's more than one kilogram lighter than the first version or the Nikon Paul is using. Well, the thing is with, with Hong Kong is that the only birds you see or hear about is they're in cages, on dinner plates, or they're blamed for contagious illnesses. Did you see that footage of uh, Bill Bailey when he went to uh, Indonesia and he was out at the market and they were buying meat for dinner and there was a Eurasian eagle owl sellotaped up? Eurasians are quite popular in Hong Kong, although usually their models right. got the look. I mean, this lens is perfectly hand-holdable. Just use you as a tripod. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. On. Just put it on my, if, in fact, put it on my head. Actual pain. <laughs> but this lens isn't lighter because they filled with Holger lens elements instead. This has two fluorite and two ultra low dispersion elements, plus four groups of optics have been coated to reduce flaring. Oh, it's beautiful, man. It is. Kind of doesn't matter that I, that I don't have the frame rate of that. Or a memory in. card. Yeah, it's just experience after all, isn't it? Exactly. It's about the doing. Anyway, went back to the Mustang to find my memory cards, and it was time for some hide action. start to go a little bit crazy in the hide when you've been waiting for birds for hours and you start to become your own entertainment. Well, when that happens, <laughs> things get a little weird. It's true, my belly started feeling weird. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what, I love this lens already. And this is Canon's longest lens with a maximum aperture of f4. You can go 800, but that's f5.6 it is snappy this is it's just to go from that background bird it is it's just it's faster than forts really if you want 800 you can put a teleconverter on this i mean it's just sexy bit of glass this lens is so sharp even wide open it's redonk boom and it just looks beautiful honestly most importantly the bunker is brilliant. We have about, I would ask them, oh my gosh, look at all the sand hills coming in. Oh. Look at all those coming in. Are you firing? Epic, I'm gonna fire. Jurassic Park has come real. Holy crap, where have they come from? Wow, that was a nice flyover. That's the benefit of this hide too. This is an absolutely brilliant way of taking photos of wildlife. Isn't it though? It is. It's, it might be a brilliant way of taking pictures of people too. You should kind of apply this to street photography. Yeah, but instead of like this, you just have a bin. You'd hide in a bin and just kind of slowly move. Hopefully people don't throw like bags of vomit into you. How would you go to the bathroom? Would you just, just go? Just cut go. a hole? No, it's a just bin. Just hanging out? That's what bins are for, aren't they? It's true. So this is high times at Hydemont High with Kai, and we're trying to film Kai Odies. We're not seeing any in a minute, but there's a freaking unicorn there. Christ. I've been told they're not real unicorns. I'm not the expert, but I know this lens performs immensely. These birds should be lifting off here at any time. It's gonna happen very soon. You can feel it in your plums, I can huh? feel it. My plums are shivering, quivering. Check that out. That noise. Whoa! It's like a massive John Woo movie. Oh. 
<laughs> There's at say. least 10,000 birds in the air right now. Dude, that was money shot. That was an experience. It's almost a perfect wildlife lens. Almost. That's the only thing about this lens is that that is probably more usable. When it comes to shooting wildlife, I'll probably just have zooms. But it looks good. Makes me look really cool, isn't it? Yes, so that's pretty much it. Cool. It's the little details that count, or rather, the amount of detail that you can get with this lens, edge to edge sharpness. I mean, the 600 millimeters is gonna get you some really up close stuff. I can practically see up its backside. This is more birds in one place than I've seen since the Chinese buffet, I guess. Four stops of stabilization helps when you're hand holding too, for stills and also video. Oh man, that's not bad. But it's not ideal to hold it for the whole day. You might pull something. Holy crap. Exerting myself a little bit too much. I think I've created a hemorrhoid. My time with the Canon 600mm was brief, as was Bosk, yet enough to give me a lasting impression of each. Such a special bit of glass used in this quite amazing setting. It has been an eye-opening, mind-broadening experience, and quite amazing that you peeps in the States have this in your own backyard. The 600mm. Luckily, you can have it anywhere. But that's it. Time to pack up and leave. I'm just glad that we acted responsibly for a change. A little